Know my dear brothers and sisters in Islam that Jannah is beyond description. No matter how much I talk about it tonight, it will never be a sufficient or an exact imagery of the Jannah. In the Hadith Qudsi, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, I have prepared from my righteous slaves what the eye has not seen, what the ear has not heard, and that which does not even come to the mind of any person. And then the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, read, فَلَا تَعْلَمُ نَفْسٌ مَّا أُخْفِيَ لَهُمْ ما أخفي لهم من قرة أعين جزاء جزاء بما كانوا يعملون. Allah Subhanahu wa Taala says, and no self knows what delight has been hidden for them in recompense for what they used to do. As for the houses in Jannah. The houses in Jannah, my dear respected brothers and sisters in Islam, are not like the dwellings of this dunya created by creation. They have been created by the creator of creation. The bricks of the house in Jannah will be of gold and silver. And the mortar, the cement that brings the bricks together is made out of musk, is made out of musk. And you don't have to worry about maintaining these houses. They are already self-maintained. And in the hadith which is found in Bukhari, the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, by the one in whose hand is the soul of Muhammad. Yani by Allah, each of them, in other words, each person that will enter paradise will know his dwelling you will recognize your house in paradise better than you know your dwelling your house in the dunya subhanallah you will recognize you see a house and you'll know that that is my house as for the rivers of jannah in surah muhammad allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says مَثَلُ الْجَنَّةِ الَّتِي وُعِدَ الْمُتَّقُونَ فِيهَا أَنْهَارٌ مِّن مَّاءٍ مِّن مَّاءٍ غَيْرِ آسِنٍ وَأَنْهَارٌ مِّن لَّبَنٍ وَأَنْهَارٌ مِّن لَّبَنٍ لَّمْ يَتَغَيَّرْ طَعْمُهُ وَأَنْهَارٌ مِّنْ خَمْرٍ مِّنْ خَمْرٍ لَّذَّةٍ لِّلشَّارِبِينَ وَأَنْهَارٌ مِّنْ عَسَلٍ مُّصَفًّى Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says an image of the garden promised to the muttaqun to those who are the righteous in it there are rivers of water that will never spoil they will never get contaminated rivers of milk whose taste will never change rivers of wine delightful to all who drink it and rivers of honey undiluted purity and in the hadith which is found in sunan at tirmidhi the prophet sallallahu alayhi wasallam said verily in the in the jannah is an ocean of honey an ocean of the stuff an ocean of wine an ocean of milk and an ocean of water then the rivers will be formed thereafter so the rivers of jannah will actually be be formed from these oceans